Alright, what is going on guys? It's JJ here from Forever Flying and today we have another cheat 7 variation for you but although it's a cheat 720 variation it's kind of more a cheat 9 variation I'll be honest it's pretty cool nice using combos if you kind of get bored of using cheat 9 so the prerequisites for this move are a cheat 9 and a cheat 7 most of the cheat 9 to be honest but it helps if you have the understanding of a cheat 7 just do more just do more and luckily I already have tutorials on a cheat 9 and a cheat 7 check the description check the cards go watch them okay so here's a cheat 7 hyper As you can see, it looks pretty similar to my normal cheat nine, like so. Only difference is, instead of pulling that first leg across in a chamber position, I leave it out, and instead of kicking the second one for a cheat nine, like so, I chamber that one instead. So you swap the rolls around. You're literally gonna do the same step that you do for your cheat nine, whether you do it on the spot or you do a big cheat step. Take that step, spot your target, pivot your foot around, so that when you lift, you only have one spin to do. Pull that leg, and I tend to just keep mine straight. So you might think it's a cheat seven double or I'm trying to do a cheat seven double, but I'm not. I'm just leaving it straight because I like the way it looks. I pull it round, leave that straight. And as it gets to just before my target, where I would usually throw out my cheat nine leg, I'm gonna push my hips out and pull the other one off into a chamber position. So it's gonna be like step, lift, here and pull. Okay, so you like swap your legs. So it's literally a cheat nine, but instead of chambering the first leg, you straighten it, and instead of kicking the second leg, you bend it. So the way you can start to approach it is like this. You can do your cheat nine, but keep both legs bent. You go step, knee, knee, and then you just straighten one leg out. And I'm gonna do this one really late, so I might mess up, but it's just to show that you can progress quite easily by only changing something really small, just to give yourself a bit of a confidence boost. So as soon as I lift that knee up, I'm gonna leave it bent when I lift it, and then I'm gonna straighten it, instead of keeping it straight the whole time. So that time, I did straighten it, but if you can do that, you know that if you just straighten your leg a little bit earlier, you'll have it. You don't have to chamber that second leg, but I just think it makes it look a little bit nicer because if you leave the second one and just don't think about it, sometimes, for me definitely, it straightens out and it kind of looks like a bad cheap nine, like so. And then for personal preference, I like to point my toes on the chamber leg, just because when I think about pointing my toes, I feel like it's easier for me to get my leg up, and then I point on the second one, because it's easier for me to pull. I think it's because I'm used to doing shuriken course, but yeah, just try it out, it looks nice. And that is it for a cheat seven hyper. The way that we're doing it is very much like a cheat nine. So certainly for me, it flows easy into most of the combos that I would do, and it just gives it a little bit more variety, because instead of doing cheat nine, cheat nine, you can do like, cheat nine to cheat seven hyper or even cheat seven hyper vanish to cheat nine because you can lift that foot up and then put it down and it looks sick. So yeah, it's just a nice little addition to your tricking vocabulary. And if you can already do a cheat nine, you don't really have to go through much effort to get it. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.